Thank you, Chairman Durbin, and my gratitude to you for holding this profoundly significant hearing, uh, and to Senator Moran, my partner, who has worked tirelessly with me on this issue and been a great partner in our common effort. But most important, I really want to thank the athletes and survivors who are here. You have truly inspired us. I will never forget the moment that we stood in the Kennedy Caucus Room. There were 40 or more of you. And you told us that you had been failed repeatedly by institutions that were supposed to protect you. And you called on us to keep our word. Today's hearing is another step in our keeping the promise that we made to you then that we would work to hold accountable the institutions that failed you and to reform them and make sure that this kind of wrongdoing, more than wrongdoing, heinous, hideous abuse never happens again. We have investigated and produced a report. We've asked the Inspector General to investigate as well, and he has produced a report. And let me just come right to the reason we're here today. It's not only that the FBI failed to do its job systematically, but the cover-up, the cover-up that occurred afterward when FBI agents made material false statements and deceptive omissions referred by the Inspector General for criminal prosecution. Those referrals were declined without explanation without any public explanation at all. My hope is that the Department of Justice, which was invited today and has declined to appear, will match your courage by explaining why those lies by FBI agents did not lead to criminal prosecution and accountability. And even days before, this hearing, there had been no action, even administratively, only with this hearing staring the FBI in the face did they fire one of those FBI agents. There's no question, Larry Nasser was a monster, a horrific predator. He was not the only monster in gymnastics, and gymnastics was not the only sport that had monsters. Our report focused not only on the monsters, but the enablers, the institutions that failed you, the schools like Michigan State University, USA Gymnastics, the coaches and trainers. They all looked the other way when you came to them. And then the FBI looked the other way in July of 2015. They looked the other way and did nothing until late 2016, almost 18 months later. And in that time period, dozens of young women lay before Larry Nasser, and he did with them what he wanted. With trauma and terror, that will last a lifetime. That pain was preventable. It was needless. The FBI's failure to act had real human consequences. And that will be forever a stain on the FBI's reputation. But even more so, the cover-up that occurred afterward because when those agents came under scrutiny, they actually manufactured statements. They lied about what survivors told them. The ultimate abuse of authority. There is nothing we can do to reverse the pain and grief that Larry Nasser caused you but we can take action against 
the law enforcers who became enablers. Those institutions became enablers, and so did the FBI. And so uh, I call on the Department of Justice to come forward. They declined to do so today. Senator Feinstein and I specifically wrote them and urged them to be there, here. They owe the American people and you an explanation. And I call on the Department of Justice to pursue action, not just administrative action, but criminal prosecution where appropriate. This day is a hard one, probably a little bit scary for you, but also hard for all of us who have valued and respected the work of the FBI. The FBI has admitted, and I quote, the actions and inactions of the FBI employees described in the OIG report are inexcusable and a discredit to this organization, end quote. I agree, but it isn't just those two FBI employees who are to blame. This failure was systematic. This investigation was mishandled from coast to coast, from Indianapolis to Los Angeles, and it has to leave us wondering whether the FBI is capable of these kinds of sexual abuse investigation. Close where I began. We wouldn't be here but for the tremendous courage of so many survivors and their unwavering demand for change. But there must be accountability for the individuals and institution that enabled Larry Nasser. Anything else is unacceptable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Blumenthal. We will now hear from Senator Blackburn. I believe she's going to 